Hi everyone, I'm here with Liz. Hi. And we are back with episode 4 of Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Once again, we're plan is to do three back-to-back -back episodes. Uh, I think we're going to start doing that Saturday, Sunday, three episodes um, at a time. Until, unless we find something that, uh, you know, we're a little, unless we want to switch things up. But right now... This is what we want. This is what we're going to do. So, um, we have lots of things we can be doing. Is Liz getting all the flumes? Yes. Okay. So I guess that is our goal. We're st Which is fine because we are going to... I'm not going to say one. we are going to 100%. I think the plan is to 100% the game. Make sure you do you rebellion of those. The hourglasses. Rebellion. You're welcome. Um, more or less the plan is to 100% the game. Are we not reading them this time? Oh, yes we are. House point hourglasses. These large ornate hourglasses contain rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep a count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin ex respectively. Now, you constantly hear them say points to and points from, but it never I gets brought up. I love the Slytherin's hourglass the most. Yeah. But, um, when I say 100%, it more means we are going to complete our journals, in game journals, 100%. Sure. Otherwise, we would have to uh, do three more playthroughs. Which is. No. Well, why not? Because. That's not an answer. That is way too much time to dedicate to one game. What are you up to now? It it's is It's already going not. to... So, right now, kind of the plan is to... You know, uh, well, we, I don't think we can get all the flus. No, we can't. We can't get the hospital flu. Because you have to, we have to, we can get that. Laura and Laura, because it's locked, which, oh, and then how in the world would it be locked? Do we don't want people sneaking up to the hospital room, the hospital room where we're supposed to be resting. But I'm just going to close this up. No. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses along with the school motto, Draco Dormiens Noquam Titalandis, which means never to tickle a sleeping dragon. So. Yeah, so the plan is to uh, complete the of those to do on my previous playthrough. What was that? A house elf cleaning. Mm. Huh. Makes sense. I will. And there's another. I will have to come back to that page. It's not that far, so you can grab it after you drop this one off. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's right there. I've now hit like nine of the sixteen house trusts for the Gideon keys. We'll get into those. We haven't got up there in this game yet. I thought we did. The Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Apparently, it's still, cloudy and overcast. I still stand by. Would we? That is a terrible decision to have candles floating above food, because otherwise you're going to have wax dripping all over you. This enchanted lectern serves as the spot from which the great headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as... Uh, 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 mm. The great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts 
as well as Professor... I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. As well as Professor Black of Dress the School. You have to make sure, because that jealous Black... Is arguably one of the worst headmasters of all time. He so is. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, I can think of one worse. Umbridge. Two worse. Albus Dumbledore. Okay. Dumbledore was not that bad. He was awful. Okay, so seven plus nine, sixteen, eight, spider. Okay, 11 plus 0, so 3, which is the other Hydra. You passed it. Thank you, Sherlock. Because, you know, I didn't realize I had passed it. I think I might have gotten this one just fairly recently. Hippogriff statue. Outland dueling gloves. Whoops. Boop, 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 boop. What's it? <laughs> One thing I recommend as you play through the game uh, is. Um, sure you stocked up on healing potions? Besides that, <laughs> unless you're like me who never uses healing potions. And Nolia dies. And, uh,. Because I'm ho because I hoard money. You make the healing potions in this one, Tyler. You don't have to buy them, and you can find all the ingredients out in the wild. Mm. Pork lump juice, yes. You can find so much of that stuff. I have an abundance of it. I just need to get several pots of, uh, I need to get several more pots of Dittany going. I've ran across Dittany in the wild. It's a rare ingredient that can yes, be run Yes, but across. it's also just easier to, you know, plant it. It's also easier just to buy it. That too. Again, but I'm hoarding money. Just use a fast travel to fast travel to the boat house. Uh, oh, this is where one of the secrets is, but mm. you don't. But you need incendio. If I remember correctly, mm. I stumbled across that one. I had stumbled across it. I just hadn't done it. Uh, turn around, there's a mirror behind you. Uh, you get that later. Okay. That's for, uh, you get that much later. What do you mean there's a mirror behind me? Oh. That Sorry. mirror. Portrait, whatever you Ooh, want to nice. call it. Uh, do you know what that is? Uh, yes. I will say another thing that I think, um, nope, not you. Because you don't have Olivia, so I forgot. Thanks, Sherlock. <clears throat> I think another thing we're going to uh, try to avoid doing, unless absolutely possible, we get really stuck, is try to look where thing look things up. Mm -hmm. To be fair, we figured out a lot of the stuff already. Things we might, things we might use, we might look up, are mostly going to be collectibles. I forgot what I was looking for. Uh, I think it was like a statue, 
a fountain. Oh well. Whatever, just into the boathouse. That's where I'm going. Past the chest. Okay, make up your mind. Do you want me to get the chest? It was right there. So you should just, you know, grab it. You would have gotten mad at me if I didn't tell you about okay, it. First, you want me to just go to the cha- go to the boat house, and now you want me to grab chest. You lost track of what you were looking for. I oh, can't even wear it yet. It's almost five. Keyword almost. I will hit you. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our good friend Peeves. Not good friend. I call him good friend. I love the design they did for Peeves. (laughs) Potion and charms. Not as much fun as playing with fire. You can't go down to the boathouse yet. That's hilarious. Very well. Well then. Well played, game. Well played. You got every other one in that one, though. I know, I'm removing my waypoint from that one. Well, you could have just moved it to a new one. Okay, you know what, Tyler? I'm just saying. Efficiency. No one likes a smartass. On the contrary. No, no one likes a smartass. classroom that we're heading towards. Oh, nice Got to it. see you, my young friend. You know, it is useful to get these. Like, I mean, you're going to naturally come across <laughs> these. Um, oh, that astronomy, the arithmetic paper is near here. Uh, uh-huh. You should be able to get that. Fine, I will. I'm just saying, since we're here, and it's in a chest, and it's in an arithmetic door that you haven't opened. The standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in all in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable life life or is likely to die in a fortnight. Eh. I thought Trelawney uh-huh. I thought Trelawney was not teaching this class. Continues. Students mm. score. To be fair, Trelawney has never technically been wrong about any of her predictions. Yes, but to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, fair, to be fair, uh, Trelawney is a descendant of Cassandra, Mm -hmm. the oracle who was cursed by Apollo. Mm -hmm. I mean, which one, which which one that was, which oracle that one was, the one that couldn't, no one would ever believe any of her frogs said. said. Yep, that's what it was. Which, you know, she could have totally just said Apollo's never, will never, will, has never been with a woman. But, uh. Which would have totally proved him. Future's like, what is I like the one where, um. Oh, I cannot remember which one she was. But, her thing was, she had a fling with Apollo. And they all do. Yes. Um, And Apollo granted her immortality against her wishes. And so, um, she basically, in an effort to say F you, yeah, right here. Take a left. I'm just reminding you of where it was at. And then bait. 
And, this... and then if you grab that box, open this chest. That is the answer key for the arithmetic doors. Doors. Um, but we figured it out without it. Like it's really not that hard. As I said, demi guys is zero. Weird. Whatever that is, number nine is number nine. I don't know. Though. I don't even think that's a hydrix. I don't think those are heads. I think they might be tentacles. Yeah. Or snakes. It could be Medusa. No. Ooh, Anyways, so zero plus one. Three. Okay. Oh, sorry. Two plus three is... Two plus three is five. So, four. Ow. Weird bird thing. <laughs> yep. And then... Three. Hydra. Awesome. This takes us to. It takes us to like three more of those doors. Yeah, it does. And uh, this is the arithmetic classroom. Ta da! Oh, Rebellion. So there's. Chest. First. Get the chest. Grab that chest. Play society for the Where's the page? Right here? I know the page is somewhere. Right over there. Uh -huh. There you go. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. Though a great many opt to spend the, pe the period counting moon calves while nodding off at their desks. Oh, sounds like this room magic. Yeah. Okay. So, so class you never take. It's because it's offered during the later years. And it's a, um, like six. No. And seventh year. No, I was talking about um, history of magic. That we know of. As far as I've gotten in the game. Because in the game trailer, it showed you sitting in the class while Ben's is passing by you and people are falling asleep. Huh. Well, I could be wrong. Okay. Game, please prove me wrong. So, uh, five plus six is eleven, so four. Owl. Bird thing. Thirteen plus zero is thirteen, so five. It's the spider thingy. That one. You mean the thing with five legs? Yes. The original there. And this is the arithmetic teacher's office. There's nine. <laughs> Very nice. Asylum mask. Hello, Clarice. Once again. Anyways, again, you don't really need this. Some of uh, just tape. Yeah. I will say, as far as I'm concerned, I've not been a fan of many of the, uh, like, face masks that you get to wear. You're gonna want, uh, you're not gonna want to, we're eventually not gonna want to explore too much longer in open chests, because we're running out of room. In cases, though. I'm just saying, like, I'm all for exploring, but, like, uh, one thing about this game is when your slots fill up, uh, we'll go into the detail later on when it comes up uh, on how you get more inventory space. But, um, unfortunately, you have limited inventory space for gear. 
And you have to either destroy it or sell it. Okay. 8 plus 0 is... So you need 1. Unicorn. The bottom one. 6 plus 5 is 11. 6. So the gecko. I think it might be a salamander. I don't know. Da -da -da. Giant purple toad statue. Teal Chinese fireball scarf. Rebellion. I think that's everything. I thought there was another way out of here too. Mm -mm. Oh. Alright. Did you hear the stop? Mm -mm. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Oh, I kicked a bottle. No, it sounds like a ghost or something. Mm -hmm. Well, there are many ghosts throughout Hogwarts. None of which I think you interact with. But no. Once again, in the gameplay trailer, they showed you walking with, like... Again, that's a trailer that... Oh, hey! One of those. Third book. We don't have Accio yet. I know, because I haven't got to class. We can remedy that. If for no other reason than so we can be more efficient when we're collecting and exploring. I know, I know, I know, I knew, I knew. <laughs> Every time I cast at her with the trip jinx. Oh, someone's an asshole today. Then again, it's slow. Hey, not all Slytherins. Off on another adventure, are we? Off on another adventure, then, are we? Fine, we'll go to class. All right. So we get two classes. We have two options for class. We have charms, which is fun. I actually really enjoy what they do with charms. If we don't like the mini game, Liz can let me play it because I'm amazing at it now. You're not that good. Um, you should see me on the uh, later missions involving that game. I'm like a rock star now. Uh huh. Okay, Nickelback. Alrighty. Charms was the first class I did. I actually really like what they did with the Charms teacher here. No? Maybe it's just nowhere in particular. No, I'm pretty sure there's a charms page. The, it's right there. No, nope, that's a chest. Oh, well, whatever. Don't really care. It'll pop up. Eventually. You know, just me casually breaking dress code and wearing a... Here. Behind you, there is an open seat here. I do like that they reference, um... Hello, I am Nettie. One of the so other schools. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it 
seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Where Story Clock gets called out for having more, more than one book. I have to say, funny story. When I was in middle, uh, middle school up through high school, I used to get in trouble all the time for reading under my desk. You read under your desk? I straight up just read it on my desk. Yeah, that but I would get in trouble for reading in class. Yeah. You are so a did I. swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but, but remember, then, of course, potential is nothing without practice. Not very Keep at it. Oh, I was reading the very best just drive on with an eye here. Very well, good, everyone. The, the That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day of like, thinking, um, I have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Oh, God. We're already, the, we're already near the 30 minute mark. Oh. We'll wrap up this class. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Oh, hmm? uh, look. <laughs> so, it's either what a better or than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, know. right? <laughs> well, I guess you can kind of see the sport in here. Huh. I'm just going to miss this part of the game. You see the yeah. court. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? This game's pretty simple. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres. All you're trying to do is try to get the highest point possible without your ball falling off the now, think of off this the like stage. Very good. Stop! 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 Don't you! Uh, I mean, not terrible. You can only lose 20. I don't know. That's it! Okay, so, 50. It's not terrible. Stupid ball fell off. Very there. good. Points to Hufflepuff. Well, there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. <laughs> I was like, Miss what? It's I, cool trick. Do care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I feel like the ball should be shot. Depending on your house colors. Not bad. Not bad. Move out of my way. No. Stop talking. You're not allowed to. She's leading by 60. Correction. That is how it's done. You can win this. It is possible. You need to knock the 50 point ball. You need to not do that. Yeah, I know. Ah! <laughs> it's a 40, because it's between those. Is it real? Huh. I didn't. I've never had that happen. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? No, no, we shall not. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting right. Let me play. I'm good at this game. I'll say. All right. Enough chatter. Focus 
I'm probably gonna do very terribly because I talk a big talk. This round settles it all. Okay, solid 30. If I remember correctly, the first time I did this, I actually knocked her ball into the 50s. To, into the 50. Right, you have it. It's a. It's set to square. Exactly I have mine set to circle. Not that I, mind. I didn't move any of it. Oh, you, cause you can't switch yet. I mean, could I just nope, not can't. in class. Oh, big. Well, now you're both two. zero. That was. I was just so everyone knows. I was one hundred percent trying to do that. No, he wasn't. One hundred percent was. Was well, not. No one wants to hear your voice that close to I. No, I knocked us both into fifty. No, you're in thirty. I can still win this. I can still win this. No, this is actually very doable. I can at least get us the draw. Well done. She's at a hundred. Cause you knocked her ball into the fifty. So, Hold on, I think we get one more game. Uh, no, no you don't. The, oh, I just won my first game against her. And, yeah. So you want to say how good you are? I am still amazing at this. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Oh, look, there's Luminous. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. Alright, we'll wrap up this I conversation I and then we'll wrap up the arrived. episode. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. So yes, but uh, never seemed this to is actually cool because we do get some interesting lore in Wagadu. It always felt like home. Uh. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out Which anything. Which is one at of all. the. I mean, and there's a lot of schools. Sure, there are like the school. school in the world. This enormous yes. school that seemed to be floating um, in and the earth. They actually have a different way of teaching magic, which is wandless, which is considered insanely difficult. This may seem an odd question, but you is magic the same oh, there I, as it no, is here? I didn't hear this one. Though. Mostly, what? yes. Oh. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived they here. They talk about it right Hardly yeah. anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find one that's actually magic easier to cast. Um, Not to mention quite convenient if one magic. is without their wand. Easier to cast I magic with that a wand. Mute, however, but that I am um, growing quite fond you of using your wand. A wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. <sighs> Alright. Go ahead and save. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Um. It'll auto save. It'll be fine. Um. Anyways. 
so that was episode four. Um, we got to see our first class, learn our first spell. Um, probably one of the more useful ones, uh, at least this early on. Um, if you like our content, like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we upload twice a week, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, at least we try to. No, no, we're committing to this one. Uh, uploading twice a week, uh, and we'll have a couple more episodes up uh, Sunday morning, or well, later tonight. Oh, Monday morning. Yep. And thanks.